I haven't attached energy. So I could paralyze. I could in fact use Tingle Return GX. This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teomon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Teomon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles, and more. You can use Teomon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tablemon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video here at Channel Tablemon. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to be playing with Salman's VMAX, not because it's gotten any good tournament results lately, not because it's a good meta goal, but because it's fun. Yeah, the attacks are super interesting, the Sonic Double doing 40 damage to two of your opponent's Pokémon. Um, whether it's active or the bench is actually pretty decent. And then we have Max Wings doing 240 damage during your next turn. You cannot use Max Wings. Uh, but usually like that won't be a big deal using back-to-back -back max wings so it will not be very common so i'm choosing to use this deck um there's a lot of mew everywhere right but this deck was pretty fun when i used it before battle style so i'm gonna give it a try and with the celebi right if you remember to the 50 keys 50 deck um 50 decks video of this deck um i struggled to find my triples right and celebi's woodland stroll ability allows you to search your deck for the, look at the top six cards, choose an energy and put it into your hand. So with the scoop of nets, with the switches, I figured that would be a nice way to be able to find um, the triples, especially, or even a powerful if you need that to do a little bit of extra damage at some point and um, that little bit of extra dick, right? Obviously we have Jirachi, Stellar Wish, which is always good, but we also have Celebi's Woodland Stroll. So, we have the Coco with the Lightning Energies to help us power up with Dance of the Ancient so that we can get a Max Wings attack out of the blue. We have um, the Dene, Crobat and Eldegas for support along with our four Research and four of this um, unnameable person, right? This person, like, this is this is now essentially... I declare Marnie the Voldemort of my channel, right? So it's she who will not be named, okay? <laughs> That's Marnie. <laughs> From this point onwards, that card is now she who will not be named. All right, so <laughs> let's jump into the ladder and see what we can uh, find, right? Hopefully not a lot of Muse. Hopefully not a lot of Muse. That's the goal. Hopefully not a lot of Peekrums either, right? Hopefully not a lot of Peekrums either. All right. So, it seems like we're up against Eternatus. That's what you would expect, right? That's what you would expect. Right. We're both gonna Mulligan. We do start Jirachi, which is decent. We are going second as well. Which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna see a Galarian Weezing with the Black Market deck. So that's gonna be a little annoying. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so it is Eternatus with Black Market. So our Chaotic 12 will be very important if we wanna get the prizes that we need. Okay, best case scenario, my opponent with the energy, right? No Crobat, nice with energy. There's a Chromat looking for that energy. Three cards. That's an Eternatus and Whiff's energy. Okay, so that's good news for us. I feel like I'm just gonna straight up Marnie here because I need a Salamence and I'd rather like have my Stella Wish after I 
Marty. Um, <laughs> well, I found Salamence, right? I definitely found Salamence, so I'm just not gonna think about this and how we didn't draw a deal with the Marty. I'll get the full art Salamence because that's prettier. And I did price one powerful, not much else. I did price one of each supporter. Oh, no, never mind. I just priced one research. My stadium is available, so that's good. All right, so now what I do is I still wish, right? And I'll grab this because that's sort of good for his elements, right? And it's a playable card as well, so I'll do this, I'll do this, and then I'll scoop up net the Drachi, get the damage counter away, bench it, switch into it yet again, so I got another Stellar Wish after I did a change for a brand new hand of six, so pretty nice. Get to establish another Salamence, get to establish another Stellar Wish. I don't think I'm gonna grab that boss, right? So I'll attach. And I will... I could draw more cards, but I feel like I'm okay just holding off here. Because if I get Marnie, then I'd rather have access to the Crobat. I have still a wish, so we're sitting pretty here. Yeah, we are sitting pretty. That's gonna be annoying. Because I knew it was gonna be heads. I definitely knew that was gonna be a head flip. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but maybe not. Um, Alright. So, as long as my next energy doesn't get discarded, we're okay. Sort of. Finding a powerful energy would be ideal. So, the question now becomes, like, what's my sequencing coming up? My opponent chooses to evolve. So, ideally, I find... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna straight up at first. I don't like the inclusion of Weezing in the turn to stacks. I don't think it's that great. Maybe with the EXP sure it's a little better, but overall I feel like it's a little underwhelming. Okay, well. Might just be dead a change, honestly. I do have a switch. Okay. That saves the Crobat, that's actually fairly decent. I don't think I'll be needing bots, like boss is not super important right here. So I'm content doing this. I'll grab the now Rainbow Rare Salamence. I will go ahead and switch, right? So I don't have infinite of those, and then I'll Teta Change. Not finding a really good energy, right? Out of all the energies that we have, that was definitely the worst one. The question is, no, I need a permanent energy so I can threaten the next turn with the triple acceleration. Um, losing the triple will not be great though. So I'll play this and then I think I just research. I'm not happy about losing this triple, but I do have two other tri three other triples. Dude, are you kidding me, man? <laughs> are you serious right now? There's no other word for this other than wow. <laughs> I drew 13 different cards after Stellarish, and I couldn't find one attachable energy other than the triple, right? But I need a permanent energy. So I could attack twice, right? Whilst attaching to the bench, and then the bench sweeps to V maxes, and that's game. But. Too much to ask for, I guess. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I've clearly lost the match now. I've clearly lost the game now. <laughs> what even is this deck, dude? Tool Scrapper, Herbaloon, and Galarian Weezing in 
and turns it's along with piers along with reset stamp along with hammers incense <laughs> this is just insane dude insane <laughs> I just, I, I can't believe what just happened, dude. I really can't believe what just happened. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Yeah, now I get three, right? I couldn't get one and one. I had to get three now. And then, whatever. Ah, <sighs> my gosh. I've lost this match. I'm gonna play it out. Like, if I had been able to attack last turn, I would have tanked a hit. Then I would have attacked this turn again. And then, as mentioned, I just needed back to back triple energies to KO one Eternatus, KO the next Eternatus. It really would have been that simple. But I was the attachment. Should have attached the triple. Debatable. Debatable. Maybe that was my mistake, right? Generally, maybe that was my mistake. Maybe that was my mistake. Okay. I put down one switch and one herbal. So the only chance I have here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um. Okay, 240 doesn't do it. I need another 40 split. So what if I go boss on this? I mean, I think that's my only hope, honestly. <laughs> I actually think that's my only hope. Go boss on this guy, attach here, and then just Sonic double these two. And hope my opponent doesn't have a switching card. If he does, it's game over, basically. Oh, the Marnie, or research, I would need to find the switch. The other song is VMAX. Triple just has a switch in hand because why not? Okay, so now I need to hope he doesn't have boss, which he has played zero off and he's just researching. And he didn't lose a single boss right there. And he plays two stabilize, dude. What is this list? <laughs> Sonia! <laughs> I have been. <laughs> what? Cape of Toughness in your Eternatus VMAX deck. He also switched into the dude and he didn't know, he didn't have confirmed energy attachment. Like, <laughs> unreal, dude. On freaking real. Okay, he has three cards in his hand. I have everything in my deck, technically to win this game. So I just research, right? I have Switch, I have the other Salamence VMAX, and I have the triple to knock out the active. just lost to the absolute worst Eternatus VMAX list ever. With my mediocre deck, right? Like, that's true. But still, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. It hurts to lose because I whiffed one energy, right? Like, generally, I lost because of that. Okay, this is the CDI. I'm not gonna bother. I have no answer to the CDI. There's no point. On to the next match. If you tell me I should have played it out, like, no, dude. <laughs> no.
No, I should not have played it out. No, I have no answers to this here. They set up one Desiderai and it's over. I have one Tapu Go code that doesn't kill Desiderai. No. Okay, before you start telling me in the comment section, no. <laughs> All right. I, I, it's just, like I know it's a game against a random person and it shouldn't matter, but it's like, I am losing to those sort of Eternatus VMAX decks because I am whiffing the very basic things, right? I can't draw the very, very basic stuff. Which means my rating is going down. And then I keep losing to less than optimal lists because I'm drawing so badly. <laughs> Should I have attached the energy? Probably, right? What were the chances that I whiffed energy though? Because of crushing hammers, I needed to like be more efficient with my energy than a triple that was going to be immediately discarded. So, whatever. There's your analysis, right? Oh, and then I had the VMAX, right? I also had this out, and now we're up against Pedro. Dude, I can't catch a break. <laughs> Like, I know I'm playing a mediocre deck, but I literally just cannot catch a break today. <clears throat> cannot catch a break today. Get myself a few more resources. Get myself another Salman's VMAX. Okay, so I actually have not got on a peak round next turn. That would be so nice, right? That would actually be so nice. Please, opponent, <laughs> have mercy on me. Don't let me KO the peak round next turn. That would be very nice. That would absolutely be very nice. There's a Raichu. We can't kill the Raichu because we don't have the powerful energy. I could kill Raichu if I find Sigigun plus Scoop Up Net, though. That radar. So at first, at first I considered the possibility that maybe it was like a green select, like green's Bolted Raichu deck, but the radar pretty much confirms the Picarum. So I hope they just pal two energies on the Picarums. There's the double Picarums. So just don't marty me. <laughs> Please don't marty me. Okay, they bench the double pigram. They did a change away both research and marty. Wow. That feels a little greedy, not gonna lie. That feels not a little, very greedy. Because they didn't end up playing a supporter anyway, so they could have marnied for one card less, but still got the same outcome. Or they could have researched for one card more and not have a Deden in the discard pile. They could have kept the Deden in the deck, right? They could have actually kept the Deden in the deck and been completely fine. Okay, so now I have a real chance at winning this. Now we have a real chance at winning this. Sure, let's grab the telescopic side. Back to back boss wins me this game. So I'll pick up the Jirachi. And then I'll go evolve, boss, triple, that, that, and... Oh, I can't win next turn because of max wings um, damage prevention thing. But next turn, nice elements. Next turn, I can actually go for the sonic double and make sure that these two are damaged. It sucks that I'm losing this triple, however. So maybe I should have grabbed the Marnie instead of this telescopic side to conserve the triple. Probably what I should have done. Probably what I should have done. Okay, so the Coco lists aren't playing tax switch or energy switch lately. I would not be surprised to be going up against the one person that has such a thing in their list, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. I even feel like Eternatus VMAX is like a real is a, like a good matchup. 
Okay, that flips heads. Yeah, that sucks. Well, I mean, my win condition is still the same, right? Knockout Peekerl. It just means I don't get to attack this turn. Or I could, but I feel like attaching to the bench is better. We'll see what we top deck. Losing the triple really hurts, though, for sure. Alright, so we see another electric line. Losing the triple really hurts, because next turn I'll probably need a triple plus a boss. Okay, that sort of protects me a little. There's a boss, but all these cards actually suck. Well, you know what? I'm gonna Pokey Gum for this Celebi. And I'm gonna have that in the active. That should help me in guaranteeing an attachment this turn. And that would be really good, right? Oh, I need a permanent energy though, I feel. Okay, does my opponent have energy boss? They're done one boss, they're done one Eldegoss. They haven't played any supporters in two turns. So that means their hand is very good, probably. Or they didn't get one, but it probably means it's very good. I'm not happy about this, but oh well. <laughs> okay. Can I please get... Okay. It is still very awful though okay i mean i'll set up the win right technically i have win in hand my salamence probably gets taken down here there's nothing i can do about it but technically i have the win worst case scenario is boss ko second worst case scenario is marnie ko Since they flipped heads, I wish I could have just damaged the two dudes. Well, that probably won't come into play though, in fact. Okay, straight up the Dene. So they had energy, they did have energy switch. Okay, so now I need. <laughs> oh, they whiffed energy, dude. Oh my god, I don't need boss. I don't need boss. I need the evolution right here, right now, because I have this triple. Oh my god. Ah, getting that Celebi might have been a mistake. No. No. I mean, I needed Coco and the evolution. <sighs> Dude, they didn't even attack with that guy. <sighs> okay, well, I'll bench you. I feel like I'll switch into the Celebi and then I'll Marty. Ah, dude. I mean, there's pretty much everything you want, minus the triple, right? Minus the triple. As long as I don't evolve, no triple. No energy at all, dude. I played 12 energies, I'm only down 4, I have 26, like, I'm down 5, 26 cards deck, like, that's so unlikely. I am down two triples though. So do I scoop up net the Celebi? I'm down four switches and two scoop up nets. No, I won't do that. Ugh. So the crushing hammer probably didn't matter. They get stamped, yeah. That's expected. 
And it just gets me the Dene, right? Please just attack. Please leave the dude in the active. Oh wait, I didn't have to win. Because I would have only dealt 240. Okay, now I can win. With the VMAX and the triple. Now I can win. And I can did a change and research. I don't even need Coco now. Alright, here we go. Can we find one of our two triples to win the game? Can we find one of our two triples and a switching card too? Right? And a switching card. To win this match. No triple. I can continue to send, however. No triple. Doesn't matter. I could paralyze. No, I've already attached. Never mind. I've already attached. Oh no, I haven't attached energy. So I could paralyze. I could in fact use... Tingle return GX. My bow is only down one switch though. So very unlikely. I am down four switches, so if I were going to tingle return, I would have to make the call right now. <sighs> it's tempting. Because they would need switch plus boss. And then I would have dead it change again. Oh no, let's just win right here, right now. Please, Doug. Please. One time. Treat and try again next turn. <laughs> Jeez, dude, what the heck is this? Switch, GG. Just boss is not... No, yeah, just boss is enough now. They play three bosses. They're down two. And the Aldegoths. They're down two the Denes. So, see, like, that the Dene right there? The one that they used in the beginning that they could have just researched away? That's gonna cost them right here. That's gonna cost them. If they lose... It's because of that today. If they lose, it is a hundred percent because of that today. All right. Oh wait, no. Okay, now I need boss. <laughs> I need boss on top of the triple. Oh, I have boss guaranteed, right? Is there a boss left in the deck? There is, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't need defense space. All right. So can the boss, I mean, can the two triples please not be in the bottom three cards of my deck? Thank you. <laughs> Freaking thank you. <laughs> we made it. We beat Picaro. My opponent's mistake cost him the game, right? Like, I, I whipped so badly, but that decision in the beginning to, when you have Research and Marnie, just keep the Dedenes in the deck precisely because the Dedenes are searchable, right? I don't know, that was such a weird decision. For like, what other supporter could you have possibly wanted? It was your first turn, you were going to electrify, you weren't going to pressure, you weren't going to attack. 
didn't seem like they played Yeldrad anyways, and that wouldn't have been as impactful either way, so I don't know. I'm happy with that win. I like the deck, it's fun, it's just it's not broken like everything else in the format. That is a top deck, but I do like my Salamence VMAX. Thanks so much for tuning in, hope you enjoyed, see you in the next video.